G'day YouTube, it's Turbo Tristan here and today we're going to do something very different and very weird to some of you and I'm going to be unboxing a box full of basketball cards. <laughs> Now, that's a very weird thing on a car channel. I've been collecting basketball cards since I was around uh, 11 or 12 years old. Back in 93 is when I started. This box is from 94, 95. Uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice Series 1 basketball cards. Recently, I've picked up the card collecting thing again. I'm not gonna go crazy spending what some people would consider lots of money on it. I just want to complete my two collections that I started when I was a kid, and then after that, um, I'll be done. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not trying to get magical cards that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just want to complete my set of cards for myself from 93 to 94, 95. Um, there's a couple of different sets just in Upper Deck. For those of you that know me, I'm a Charles Barkley fan. I love the Suns. In the 90s, when everyone was cheering for Michael Jordan, snapping up Michael Jordan cards left, right, and center, uh, there was none left for me, and I decided that I would go for Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns, and I started collecting Barkley cards. I'll show you some of those uh, in just a moment. Uh, I named my cat Barkley, and we're getting a new cat soon. Uh, this one is an all grey Maine Coon and it's going to be called Iverson because I also like Alan Iverson. He's obviously from a later era and I might look into getting some cards of his as well but I'm not going to be collecting sets of cards, I'm not going to be spending any more money after I complete these sets. Um, so I've ordered new sleeves, I've ordered new folders, and I've ordered a couple of boxes of cards. So as a kid, scrounging and saving every five cent piece you could find till you had enough money to buy one packet of cards and rush down to the shop. Uh, in Orange, where I grew up, the shop was called On The Ball. Basketball cards were so popular, they even opened up a shop specifically just to sell basketball cards. That grew into basketball memorabilia, singlets, pants, hats, then it went into all American, you know, NFL, uh, NHL, and then eventually it went full circle and turned into a dress shop for girls once the basketball fad died out. Um, but yeah, I used to scrounge money off the ground, pinch coins out of my mum's purse, do odd jobs, save every penny I could every time. I bought something, you know, I'd keep the change and that would go to basketball cards. And I always dreamt of opening a box full of cards, brand new, out of the packet, a whole box. So now I'm 38 years old, I'm not 12 anymore, and I'm going to do that for the very first time. It surprises me that these cards are still available and people still have unopened, still sealed boxes from almost 30 years ago now. Um, so that's just amazing. So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna set the camera up on a tripod and you're gonna get a POV style view of me opening up these cards. You might think it's boring because you're here for car stuff. And this won't be a habit, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. There are some car videos coming over the weekend. So I'm gonna be doing some work on the weekend. This is just middle of the week. Uh, on a weeknight, got my parcel from eBay, and I've been speaking to the guy who I bought these off. He's actually from the suburb I'm from in Melbourne, and he now lives in the town that I grew up in, New South Wales. Uh, so he's he now lives in Orange, he's from Noble Park. I live in Noble Park, I'm from Orange. So just a weird world. Without further ado, let's open some cards. Might be boring, might be exciting, but let's get into it. Okay, here goes. So this is the box. 12 cards per pack. Each pack is holographically enhanced. Uh, look for special inserts, silver or gold signature cards. So let's give that a crack. Mm. 
Mmm, smells like the 90s. Alright. So, oh. so, in the shops, these used to set up like this. There'd be a price tag. Each of these were like 15 bucks for a packet. They've all got different players on them. I can't remember who that is. That's definitely John Stockton. Anthony Hardaway or Chris Webber maybe. Uh, forget this kid's name. Plays for the Bulls. I no idea who that is. But they're just those couple of guys. Alright, let's start opening these up. Jamal Mushburn, Kenny Anderson. Maybe that's who that is on that, Kenny Anderson. Get stuck together. Nick Van Exel. Tony Kukoc, definitely got all those. A Rick Smith silver signature. That over there. These are all pretty basic cards. I'm pretty sure I've already got most of these in the first pack. And you'll notice I'm just handling them carefully, not with special gloves or anything. Again, I'm not one of those crazy uh, people that's going to be trying to retire off this. I just want to finish my sets I had as a kid. A little bit sticky, they've been in those packets for years. Takembe Matumbo, Alonzo Morning, Steve Smith, so sticky, Charles Oakley, Beast. Ooh. John Konchak, Konsak, another silver signature. Dale Davis. Orlando Woolridge had that card a few times. Derek Harper. None of these are anything special. Sorry if you guys are watching, but your cards aren't very special. So I'm just sorting them out into, you know, early hundreds, late hundreds, um, late doubles, early doubles. Just so when I put them in their sleeves, I know where they go and it's easier to sort out. Joe Dumars, Mark Price, Vin Baker, Eric Riley, Silver Signature. Got a double of the same card stuck together. There you go. PJ Brown, Donald Royal. Derek Harper again, pretty sure I've already got him once today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. We have got a gold signature, boys. Damn. Elmore Spencer. I have not got a single one of those. That's my very first one. I've seen them back in the 90s. Some kids had them, but that's my first one I've ever owned. So very happy with that. AC Earl, got this card about 3,000 times when I was a kid. Ken Norman. Four packets in. And there's our loot piles. So the silver and gold signatures. And they're the special cards that go up the back of the set. David Robinson straight away. What a beast. The Admiral. 
Stacey King, Todd Day, Alonzo Morning, the man, 133, Tony Campbell, Donald Royal again, Tyrone Corbin, oh, instant winner, ninth prize, far out. Okay, I'm going to come back to that. I'll find out what that is later on. I've never seen one of those ever in my life. Another De Dikembe Mutombo, a Richard Petruska Silver Signature. D Brown and Sean Kemp, the man. That's awesome, instant winner. That is awesome. All right, what are we up to? Four, five. Another Alonzo Morning. Derek Strong. Blue Edwards. Blue Edwards again, twice. Come on, mate. Glenn Rice. He was the man for the heat back in the day. Cavs, Gerard Wilkins. Cavs was such a sucky team back in the day. Pretty much no one went for the Cavs. Charles Oakley again. Ooh, hoop it up. I don't have any of those. Women's champion, hoop it up. Keep that over here. Another Tony Kukoc. Isaiah Ryder, he was pretty good. Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon, Silver Signature, awesome, don't have that one. John Stockton, All-Star, it's pretty awesome. Pete Myers, George Lynch, Lynchy. Clarence Weatherspoon, Vin Baker, he was a good player for the Bucks. Vinny Del Negro. Jeez, mate. You're pretty white. You need to change your name. Joe Dumas, Silver Signature. Nice. Scott Skiles. Clyde the Glide Drexler. He was the man for the Blazers. One of the early Jordan comparisons, and some would say even better than Jordan at times. And sorry if this is boring, but this is my childhood dream, not yours. So there we go. Derek Coleman. Anthony Hardaway. Now, this player, Shaq, worked on a movie with him called Blue Chips. Decided he was a good enough player to be in the NBA and pretty much made the magic draft him. Or so the story goes. And he was Shaq's right-hand man. Dan Marley. Suns card that everyone got quadruples of a hundred times in every packet, but still the Suns, and they're my favorite team. Sherman Douglas, Jeff Hornacek, 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 Elmore Spencer, Sean Bradley. I actually met Sean Bradley at a basketball camp when I was about 11, um, went into the toilets and he was so tall, his head stuck over the top of the toilet. He's seven foot six. Um, he got out of a Mazda 121 bubble, which was a tiny little car. If anyone knows it, this card's a little bit off center, so it's not worth anything, but um, seven foot six, crazy. On some of his other, on his previous card, the year before it says, he took two years off to go and do his Mormon thing. Um, so yeah, seven foot six Mormon knocking at your door. He was also in Space Jam. And here we go, John Stockton, King of Assists, Ron Harper. And we've got a silver signature of this card, Steve Smith. We've got it 10 times already, so I'm glad we got a signature one. Derek McKee. Got that a few times. John Sally. 
you guys might recognize John Sally from heaps of TV shows, heaps of movies. He is in everything at the moment. 611, pretty funny guy. He's in lots of movies, so look out for John Sally. He used to play for the Miami Heat. It's Popeye Jones again. Ant Antoine Carr. Chris Mills. Mills E. Frank Brakowski. Corey Blount. Blount. He was a bull. Bench warmer for the Bulls. Got a championship ring. It's a pretty good uh, story. You're the bench warmer and you get a championship ring. Mark McCon. Original name. Dino Raja Silver Signature. Yes. Again, Mark Price. Reggie Miller. And Clarence Weatherspoon. Spud Webb, five foot seven. There is hope for everybody. Very famous guy, awesome dunker. Considering his height, he was amazing. Went in a few dunk competitions and very respected player, Spud Webb. Sean Rooks, stuck together. George Lynch, Lynchy. He's got Kobe's number. 24. That would suck being a Laker, being number 24, and no one remembers that's your number. Stacy King, Scott Haskin, Chris Webber, signature silver. Chris Webber was the man for the Warriors. He was their main guy for a long time. Six foot ten. Didn't know he was that tall. Damn. I always thought he was, yeah, way shorter than that. But anyway, I was a kid when I used to collect these. Terry Cummins, Spurs. Will Purdue, another guy who got a ring for being on the Bulls. Otherwise not really famous. Calbert Chaney, number 40. Lonzo. Elijahwan and Shaquille O'Neal hopefully you guys like these and don't flame me too hard but we all have hobbies cars is one of my hobbies basketball cards is another one and video games is my other one so I'm a PlayStation player play most days just a big kid really Percy Hawkins, Christian Latner. You've heard of him? Christian Latner for the Timberwolves. Isaiah Ryder, he was the man for the Wolves. He was their flagship player at the time. Stacy Augman, Silver Signature. Awesome. Calvert Cheney again. We got that guy again. Bobby Hurley. You just know this guy had mad attitude. Six foot tall, 165 pounds. Played for the Sacramento Kings as a guard. Looked like he was one of those little chihuahua guys just shouting all the time. <clears throat> Clyde Drexler, Clarence Weatherspoon, and Nick Van Exel. Sam Cassell. Dan Marley again. Number 69, Ed Pinkney, Pinkney, Ed Pinkney, that's a name. Johnny Newman, Signature, yeah. Oh, here we go. You crashed the game, Joe Dumas. I do not have a single one of those, I don't think. Oh, yes, I do. I've got an Elijah one, one. S3. That's a special card. Rod Strickland, Sean Bradley again, hopefully this one's a bit more centered, uh, slightly, Bimbo Coles, who names their kid Bimbo, 
don't know. Antonio Harvey. Barkley. That's my man. Shaquille O'Neal. And Ron Harper. Nick Anderson. Spud Webb again. Christian Latner again. Percy Hawkins again. Rod Strickland and Walt Williams. Thurl Bailey. Thurl. Antonio Harvey. Don McLean. Don McLean. Scotty Pippen. The man. Most famous number two in the world. Patrick Ewing. And Dikembe Matumbo signature. That one's a little bit bent up there. Slightly, I can notice it. Chris Mullen again. Come on, man. Give me some signatures. Latrell Spreewell. Good player. Mitch Richmond. Spud Webb. Spud Webb signature. Thank you. Avery Johnson, Enos, Enos Watley, Tracy Murray, John Williams, Kevin Duckworth, Kenny Anderson, All Star Advice, Patrick Ewing times two. Could have given me one more signature. Lucius Harris again. I said that wrong last time. Lucius. Rick Smiths. Not Rick Smith. Rick Smiths. James Worthy. Mark Westy. Thurl Bailey again. Gosh, this has got nothing in it, this pack. Dino Raja. God, that pack sucked. Clarence Weatherspoon. Tom Gugliotta. There we go, finally something. Reggie Miller signature. Jamal Mushburn. Lafonso Ellis. Reggie Williams. Lafonso Ellis again, no signature. Johnny Dawkins and Danny Ferry, Loy Vort, interesting name, Richard Petruska, Richard Petruska again, Ron Harper again. Tim Hardaway checklist, cool. And we got Chris Webber signature, tip off, nice. Scotty Pippen, 33. I do already have that card, but that's a better one. Jamal Mushburn, Todd Day. Carl Malone. Person who Post Malone was named after, the postman, Carl Malone. Steve Smith. Charles Smith. Rich King. Another Tim Hardaway checklist. It's not like I need two of those. And we got the Nick Van Exel signature tip off. And we've also got Derek Coleman tip off. Dennis Rodman, my man. Legend. Chris Mullen for the tenth time. Rick Smith, pretty sure we got that like three times. Felton Spencer.
Kevin Edwards. Del Curry. Steph Curry's dad. Muggsy Bogues. 6'5. Del Curry, 200 pounds. Jazz, Cavaliers, and then the Hornets. Average 12 points a game. Back then. Chris Morris. And Mike Brown. Irvin Johnson. Not Irving Magic Johnson. Irvin Johnson. And that's a signature. And that's a signature for the Sonics. Sorry. Muggsy Bogues and Alonzo Morning tip off. Chris Webber and a checklist with BJ Armstrong. All right, battery went flat at the halfway mark, roughly. So let's keep charging. And yes, I tidied up the piles because I was starting to go everywhere and I don't want the cards to get damaged. Mitch Richmond, standard. So I'll move them around. Muggsy Bogues. Just love saying the name Muggsy Bogues. Five foot three, 140 pounds. This guy was a tiny beast. Lindsay Hunter. Got that a few times. Lindsay Hunter again. Johnny Dawkins. We got that a few times. Rodney Rogers. Cedric Sabalos. Suns player. Automatically cool. Anthony Boner. Boner alert. Got a boner twice. And a signature boner. Woo! Reggie Miller. John Stockton checklist. I know I don't have that. And Mark Price. Give me proud, mate. Come on. Doug Overton. Bullets. Lindsay Hunter again. Not a signature. Muggsy Bogues again. Byron Houston. 61. We got a signature of Doug Edwards, silver signature, card number 100. Don McLean and Reggie Miller, number 31. Chris Morris, D. Brown, Larry Johnson. Absolute wrecking machine, Larry Johnson. Few injuries and his career didn't go so well, but while he was running, he was an absolute beast. Pretty much unstoppable. Shaquille O'Neal. George Lynchy Lynch, 24. Again, Kobe's number, and no one remembers you. Rick Smiths, Chris Mullen. Starting to get a few doubles now. Dale Davis, James Robinson. Signature of Jeff Turner. Dino Raja, Eric Riley, Irvin Johnson, Hakeem the Dream, Olajuwon. Charles Barkley, he's my man. Throwing his arms up, what the hell did I do now? And Scotty Pippen. Ed Pinkney, Muhammad abdul Ralf. Pretty sure I got that one. Sam Cassell, we already have that one now and I have it already. Muggsy Bogues for the third time. Sean Kemp, 140. <coughs> David Wesley, boner alert. Anthony Boner, Boner, Chris Morris, Tony Kukoc again, signature this time, Noyce, Shaq, Carl Malone, the mailman, and Reggie Miller, <coughs> Lafonso Ellis, and Reggie Williams. Reggie Williams, Lafonso, Ellis goes there. <coughs> Blue Edwards, Blue Edwards, silver signature. I'm glad we didn't just get a double of that because we've got that like five times already. Michael Adams for the Bullets. Sean Kemp, 140. David Benu, Charles Smith, Thurl Bailey again. Danny Manning, Shaquille O'Neal, and Larry Johnson. Yet again, down to the last 
eight packs. Come on, mate, give me a signature. Christian Latner, nope. Spud Webb, nope. Ooh, Muggsy Bag signature, loving that. PJ Brown, <clears throat> Danny Ferry, Tony Kukoc again, Bimbo Coles again, Charles Oakley again, Chris Webber, Latrell Spreewell, and Alonzo Morning. All right, got a good feeling about this packet. Something good's coming out. Alfonso Ellis, Dennis Rodman, number 10, Robert Pack, Derek McKay, Scott Burrell, Nigel Knight, Reggie Miller, Alan Houston, Cedric Sabalos. Signature, thanks for coming. It's a Suns card too, real happy with that. Uh, Tom Gugliotta, Isaiah Ryder, and Derek Coleman. Let's go from the back this time. Hakeem Olajuwon, standard. Sean Kemp, Patrick Ewing, Cedric Sabalos, non-signature. Don McLean, non-signature. Michael Williams, come on, buddy. Sign the card. Yes. All right, Michael Williams, silver signature. Del Curry again. Steph Curry's dad, Reggie Williams. Byron Houston and Pete Myers. And Hersey Hawkins. Five to go. Come on, John Stockton, don't let me down, buddy. Give me an assist, mate. I need an assist. Clifford Robinson, Dennis Scott, number 81, Craig Ehlo, Craig Ello, Sam Cassell, number 87. We've got another Crash the Game, Derek Coleman. Weird that you never get these cards and I've got two of the same one. Put that in a special pile. James Worthy. Hoop it up. Again with the women's champion. Tracy Murray. Bimbo Coles. Got another Jordan playing golf. Got the BJ Armstrong checklist again. And we have a Jamal Mushburn silver signature tip off. Nice. If anyone knows what this is, comment below. It says instant winner ninth place. Haywood Workman. Mark Price. <clears throat> Christian Latner, silver signature. Woo. Tony Campbell. Walt Williams. Irvin Johnson. David Benoit. Benoit Benoit. Loy Vaught. Vought Industries. Derek Coleman. David Robinson. Come on, give me a signature. Let's flip it over and get a nothing. And Chris Webber. Got three left. I'm going to go BJ Armstrong first. Mix it up. Give me a BJ. Dennis Scott. Nothing special. Doug Overton. Nothing special. No signature. Dale Davis, nothing. Spud Webb, yet again. Kendall Gill, got this card a few times. Mookie Blaylock. What a man. I just used to love saying Mookie Blaylock back in the day. 6'1", 185 pounds, averaged 13 points a game for the Atlanta Hawks. Silver signature. Mike Brown, Tyrell Brandon, Tracy Murray again. That already. Carl Malone, Vin Baker, and Isaiah Ryder. Hakeem Olajuwon, come on, be a signature. Derek Harper, Orlando Woodridge, nothing. Lucas Harris, nothing. Nigel Knight, Nigeli. Isaiah Ryder, the man from Minnesota. Will Perdue, Adam Keefe, Charles Oakley, come on, signature. Yes, Charles Oakley, signature. <whistles> BJ Armstrong, checklist, yay. Michael Jordan, playing golf again. All right, this is the last packet, guys. My childhood dreams have come true. This would have been the most exciting thing ever as a kid. But there we have Anthony Hardaway. Again, Johnny Newman, 
Derek McKee, AC Earl, Glenn Rice, and Kenny Gaddison. Kenny Gaddison. One sickly and 41. Bobby Hurley. Just looks like he's got attitude, doesn't he? Loy Vort again. Mike Paplowski. Mike Zowski. Joe Dumars. Shaquille O'Neal. And we have another Joe Dumars signature. All right, well, that's the end of the unboxing. We have some pretty big piles of cards there. I think it's around 430 cards we've just unboxed and one instant winner. Let's get a better look at this. So, 10 card NBA draft set, ninth prize. Prize one, 10 grand. Damn. I'll have to read all that fine print, but yeah, I won something. Okay, so there's Barkley, the cat. And here we go. So I've put all the cards in their slots. So I'm only missing two off that page. What I've done is I put the signatures behind. So three off there, full page, signature, full page with the Jordan. My gold, silver, another full page, the Kim Olajuwon signature, another full page, more SIGs, only missing one off that page, one off that page, another signature, full page, three signatures on that page, just missing the one. Missing two, three more signatures, just the one, three more, two more. That's almost a full page of signatures, just need two more for there. Full page, three signatures, a full page, three signatures, full page, another two signatures, another full page. Another signature, full page, signature, missing one. I got Michael Williams signature three times, if anyone wants to trade. Missing one. Uh, signature there, full page. Almost a full page of signatures, just missing one. Another full page of tip-offs, full page of all-stars. And then we're at the end of C series one. So we've got the checklists. Uh, I've got a Chris Webber signature there, so that's separate. So there's all the checklists. Now I don't know where these You Crash The Games go or how many there are. They're numbered S3 and S2. Uh, it doesn't appear on the checklist here unless there's some other cards. And then we start into uh, the series two of that upper deck season. So. Pretty happy with that. I'm just waiting for my new folders to arrive, eh, Barkley? So I can put those all separate. At the moment, it's pretty tight for real estate there. And I've got all my doubles in there. There's probably a couple of hundred doubles there. And there's my Allen Iverson card, only one I've got. And a couple of Harden cards, which are obviously new ones. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my second hobby or third hobby or fourth hobby. I've lost track. Uh, collecting basketball cards. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will be back to the car stuff this weekend. Uh, many hours have passed since I cracked open those cards. But that was a childhood dream of mine to buy a box of cards. Uh, from that series and then open them all and hopefully complete a set and I got really really close a couple of really good cards um, there was a instant win prize number nine nine so ninth prize and a couple of you crash the game cards which I don't know where they go so I just put them at the back of series one I hope you enjoyed the content uh, make sure you like and subscribe 
If you're a basketball card collector guy, and that's why you're watching this video, then welcome. I normally do car stuff. Yeah, I'm no expert on basketball cards. I know that these are worth a couple of cents each, but this is for me, they're not to sell. I guess I'm hoarding them, but I just want to collect the whole set of those. And the, the season before, so series one, series two, and then this series one and series two. So yeah, if anyone's got any cards they want to swap, or if they've got some that they want to dust off in their basement and they want to give them or sell them or whatever, let me know, cause yeah, now you know a bit more about me. Thanks guys, spool up, bring the boost, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.